Good morning. Um, my name is Perla Lozano. This is Carla Stevenson, Paul Swopes, and Nora Ortega. We're from El Paso, Texas, and we attend Trans Mountain Early College High School and El Paso Community College. We'd like to have a special thanks to Dr. Our faculty, what? Teacher Muncher, Teacher Muncher um, Dr. Cunnings, and Dana Panham. Okay, honey has been used for medical reasons. In Spain, they found this wall of a prehistoric man guarding honey, and in Egypt, people thought considered honey as the nectar of the gods. Um, honey has been used as an antibiotic to treat diarrhea causing bacteria, cuts or infected wounds, burns, as well as other types of bacteria. There has been antibiotic resistant strains uh, have been found to be as sensitive as honey, antibiotic uh, sensitive strains uh, in the same species. The reason that honey is toxic to the bacteria is because the property of honey increases in the dilution, the enzyme glucose of the, ox the enzyme glucose oxidase is activated in water resulting production of hydrogen peroxide. The osmotic effect of its high sugar content can be sufficient to inhibit microbial growth. We have found, well we found studies, previous studies have shown that microgravity has no effect on growth rate of E. coli cells. Others have shown that microgravity appears to reduce the lag period of E. coli. Final cells densities were higher in low gravity cultures and salmonella um, grown under model microgravity were more virulent compared to organisms grown under the normal gravity. For preparation, we had one colony of E. coli K12 grown in EMB agar placed into nine millimeters of LB broth and incubated for 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Then the cells were washed, diluted, and adjusted to 1.4 times 10 to 8 CFU per milliliter. We performed two experiments. The concentration of honey that was tested was 10%, 5%, 1%, 0.5%, 0.1%, and, and of course the control. Um, experiment one was stored in the dark for 48 hours at room temperature. The second experiment was stored in the dark for five days at room temperature in the dark. The cells um, were diluted to 10 to the negative fifth power to 10 to the negative eighth. And then one milliliter of each dilution was placed on TSA auger to determine the colony forming units. And we counted two plates per dilution. That way we could average them out and have a more better um, Result. So these are the results we obtained. This is the first experiment that was for 48 hours and stored in the dark, and this one was for five days. To see a more better picture, you can look at this. The blue one is for 48 hours. And as you can see, this is a honey concentration, and this is a bacteria concentration. So the bacteria started off here. And for the 48 hours one, it just kind of decreased as the honey concentration increased. But for the five days one, it started up here at the control. And as the honey increased, it started to decrease just like the 48 hours one. But when it hit 1%, I guess it started, well, our prediction is that it started feeding off of the sugar and the honey and started increasing. So the bacteria started to increase as the honey concentration increased. These are our references. And we'd like to thank everyone who helped us for this project. So the presentation. I'm sure you have questions, so please come up to the microphone. Hello. Um, what was it in the honey that, uh, that made this effect happen, and wh why wouldn't you just use a sugar solution? It was hydrogen peroxide. Hang on, let me pull it up. Um, the antibacterial, antibacterial property of honey increases in the dilution. The enzyme glucose oxidase is activated in the water, resulting production of hydrogen peroxide. The, the glucose oxidase? Yes. Okay, thanks. Is that 
enzyme in the honey, is that specific just to honey, or are there other substances that have that? We haven't tested that, but I mean, so far it's honey. I, I actually asked you that yesterday at the opposed session about this. Uh, are you planning on doing uh, additional tests to, uh, um, to find out why you saw the increase in the um, uh, bacteria concentration? If we're able to, I'm more than happy to continue this. All right, very good. Um, if there are no other questions, uh, thank you again for an excellent presentation.